Okay, in this video I want to talk about multiplying polynomials and just kind of a, a more tedious example here. So in this example we're going to take 2 times 3v plus t minus 4 times 3v plus t plus 4. Um, so a couple different ways that we could do this. You could distribute the 2 to either the first set of brackets or the second set. Notice you wouldn't distribute the 2 to everything because there's, if there were, there's not a plus or a minus in between the brackets. In that case, um, you know, we would actually even need another set of parentheses, but just be careful about that. The 2 is only going to get applied to one set of brackets. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to multiply everything inside the brackets first. So I'm just going to leave the 2 alone. And now we're just going to have to, you know, foil it out, distribute everything out. So I'm going to take my 3v plus t and multiply that by the other 3v plus t. And I'm not really going to do anything here at first except write it out. If we have 3v plus t times 3v plus t, well, that means we have two of them, so we would have 3v plus t squared. Then I'm going to take the 3v plus t and multiply it by the positive 4. Well, that would leave me with positive 4 3v plus t. On the inside, I'll take my negative 4 times the 3v plus t, so that'll give us negative 4 3v plus t. And then we'll take the negative 4 times the positive 4, which would give us negative 16. Okay, so now I'm going to do a couple things. One thing I'm going to recognize is notice we have positive 4 3v plus t and a negative 4 3v plus t. So those would simply cancel out. Then, since we're trying to expand this out, since we have 3v plus t squared, I'm going to write that as 3v plus t, 3v plus t. And we could have done that originally instead of writing with the square. Uh, we still have our minus 16 left over. And again, I'm just going to keep simplifying inside the brackets. So it looks like we have to FOIL one more time. So 3v and 3v would be 9v squared. 3v times a positive t would be 3tv. Again, I'm going to just alphabetize. On the inside, we'll have positive t times 3v. So it'll give us another 3tv. t times t will give us a positive t squared. We still have our minus 16 left over. And at this point, I'm going to, again, do a couple steps at once. So we would have 2 times 9v squared. That would give us 18v squared. Notice if we combine the 3tv and the 3tv, that would give us a 6tv. When we multiply that by the 2, we would get a positive 12tv. And then we take the 2 times the positive t squared. That'll give us positive, well, 2t squared. Then we have positive 2 times negative 16. That'll give us negative 32. So, all right, again, just kind of tedious again, more than anything, just really trying to, I think this is a good problem if you're trying to really practice just all, all of the distributing, exponents, signs, um, certainly lots of little places to make mistakes in here it would be easy to do but I hope this example makes some sense and helps you out